So for the last four decades, my family has serviced water wells on the eastern coast of the United States. For the last two decades, technology has gotten to the point to where we can actually visually inspect the inside borehole of a water well using a deep water well camera. Now the reason for this video is because times have changed and technology has gotten better. We've used a uh, uh, basically an underground well camera for jobs that we have to hydrofrack, like this unit here, or uh, other jobs that we have to put well liners in. Both of those would require us to have a visual inspection of the well to where we know exactly where we're setting important pieces of equipment or we're setting um, separation devices like packers. Our old borehole camera has subsequently become outdated. And recently, I have been given the opportunity from a company called Viver, and they actually sent me a brand new borescope camera that I'm going to use for water wells. So this camera is manufactured by a company called Viver. You can get this entire complete system for under $600 on their website. So this model of pipe inspection camera comes with 150 feet of push cable, and the cameras on the end you can actually get this model in 150 foot 200 foot and 300 foot all those are under 600 dollars comes with a nice color 9 inch lcd screen actually comes with the ability to record in its own little sd card a built-in battery box this right here this little knob this is a light adjustment so on the end of the camera here are leds now one thing i actually like about this the most is how compact it is. So basically you just fold it up, you lock it, you pick it up, and you're ready to tote it. It's just so easy to carry. It's not that heavy. I'm gonna say it probably weighs, I don't know, 11 pounds, something like that. It's not that bad at all. If you compared this to my old system, my old system is just big and bulky and requires two, you know, two separate containers. I'll set this down right here so if we take a quick look inside of the instruction booklet camera a is the camera that you get with this system they offer multiple different types of cameras now this camera here seems to be a little bit smaller in diameter it says 17 millimeter where this one over here is uh, 23 to 25 millimeters if we flip the page we come over here we got another selection of camera um, this one looks to be possibly like a side view. It's a 150 millimeter uh, diameter, and this one also seems to be a side view as well, also a down view. This is 42 millimeters, but all of the selection of lights uh, come with LEDs. They're all 12 volt, so I believe that you can order these separate from the site and then put them on your unit per the specifications that you need. I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to take this out into the field, and we're going to send this camera down the well and get a good visual and see how it compares to our older system. Adjust the brightness of the camera. Oh wow, yeah, look at that. That's nice. Definitely wants to take off. What we'll do here, we'll go ahead and record. Now we are recording the journey down the borehole. And there is our water. You can tell there's rock drill on top of that. We're still inside the PVC casing at this point. 
feel like, yeah, there we go. So that is where our casing meets the rock. And I can adjust the light on the camera to get a good visual. We'll go down inside the borehole. Really, really good clarity. Really pretty borehole. I do like this light option though. Because you can dim it. It's crazy. The screen tries to auto adjust for the uh, darkness or the light of the camera. Really nice image of the borehole. Water is a little bit discolored. You can tell there's particulates floating in the water. The well was just drilled yesterday, so right now we're giving the camera a workout and testing it to see its ability. And so far in comparison with my other camera that costs five times the amount as this, this is far superior. I'm gonna try to wind this up and see how it does winding up. And I believe we're just gonna sit here and simply push, pull it out and push it in. Just as easy as it went in, it comes out. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. came out beautifully. Wipe the water off of it. Just turn down the light on it and see what happens. Get a visual of that screen. So we're gonna go ahead and look at us. Really good visual. <laughs> really good visual. Can I see? <laughs> really nice clarity. Couldn't beat that. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, everything is in full color. It looks crystal clear. For a camera that you can buy for under six, seven hundred dollars, depending on the the footage you get, this is extreme quality. Very, very happy with this product. Now it also comes with this right here. This is a centralized roller. And I might actually use this next time. I put this piece on, which they offer. It's basically just a, a protector for the camera and it kind of brings it away from the rock wall. Well, this right here seemed a little large, but I think next time I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and slip this on. That way it kind of centralizes it inside the borehole a little bit better than this one. Okay, so now we're gonna bring this, we're gonna turn our light off. That's off, and then we are going to hit the power on the screen, turn that off, and then the power on the battery, and we'll turn that off. And then we'll simply place our camera back inside and lock our locking mechanism. Pop the camera in there. Close it off. Pick it up. And that right there is a quality Viva well camera. Very happy with it. Go ahead and open this thing up and 
Let's pull the camera out. Camera comes out like this. We're gonna set it right there for now. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna turn the power on. Then we're gonna flip the battery on. Turn the power on on the screen. There we go, we have visual. And then let's see. There I am recording. <laughs> So, I mean, that is actually really good quality video, in my opinion, for a pipe inspection camera. Just look at the quality of that image. Look at the quality of that image. That is awesome. Awesome quality for under $600. You can't beat it. And you have the ability to record and then play it back for the customer. Or you could just take the SD card out and give it to the customer if they were, you know, inquiring about how their system went, you can just hand them the card, let them put it in their computer, and then they can visibly see whatever it is they need to see for themselves. I'm going to show you a demonstration on the dimming of the LED lights. So there they are all the way off. And all I'm doing is rolling the dial. Very nice. Now this kit comes with two protective sleeves that go over the camera. You have this unit here, which basically just helps keep the camera off the sidewall of the pipe. Or you have this larger roller, which also goes on. I'm going to say this is probably for three or four inch pipe. That way it will keep your camera centralized inside of the pipe. And all you do, you simply tighten these white screws here in the middle. Those set screws. You just tighten each one of those down. And it firmly grips the camera. Now, I have come up with a different solution. Because I'm not using this for a uh, horizontal pipe camera. I'm using this for a vertical situation. So, I want my camera to actually stay as straight as possible. So, I have come up with a solution to fix the, the flimsiness of this head. I have no need for the head to be flimsy because I'm always going down in a straight borehole. So I need the camera to stay as straight as possible. So I come up with a solution for that. So now that we're back from the job, from testing the camera, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to put on this piece that I made to try to keep the camera straight. Now all this is is just a PVC pipe union. It's a three quarter inch. It slips right over top of the camera beautifully. Just like so. And what I'm going to do, these two O-rings, one will go in front, one will go in back, and then we'll put our caps on. Beautiful. Now we're all done. Well, if you are in the well drilling industry or the plumbing industry and you have a need for a pipe inspection camera, I highly recommend checking out Beaver.com and get you one of these cameras. For the price, you can't beat it, and it will probably save you so much headache in not knowing what you're dealing with. Just send the camera right on up the pipe, and you'll be able to see exactly what the problem is. So, in conclusion, what are my thoughts on the Viver Well camera? I actually like it. 10 out of 10. For the cost, absolutely blew me away. With its ability to uh, show me color, um, have the ability for the screen to actually record... Um, the camera itself was nice and small, well illuminated, and I love the fact that you can actually dim the lights. That is awesome, awesome idea. And then 
how compact it is, how easy it is to carry. I mean, everything about this, it, it, it's just, it's blown me away, honestly, uh, with how it looked down the borehole. It's just really, really, really good footage. And I love the way that you can like record and actually give it to the customer. It's just things like that that they would appreciate. So if you're in the market and you need a pipe inspection camera, check out Viver.com.